Hi, my name is Sandy Carter, and I'm the Vice President of Social Business Evangelism at IBM. And you know, I was just thinking about becoming a social business, meaning that you're applying social techniques beyond just marketing, but to human relations, to supply chain, to product innovation, as well as marketing and PR. That brings up kind of this definition of social business, being engaging, being transparent, being nimble, and the implications of that on the new customer. Let's call that new customer the social client. So I was thinking tonight that in terms of the customer today, and of course going forward in the future, they have a whole different level of expectation, especially in terms of engagement. How you keep them interested, how you're active with them, how you form that relationship with them. They expect that your customer service team is gonna be extraordinarily friendly, and also that they're gonna be knowledgeable, even when they tweet about a question or an issue. If your company doesn't have a great reputation online, they probably won't consider your brand. And if you do decide to go with your brand, then they expect your teams to be available at all times of day and night. On top of that, they want an experience from you. Mobile, virtual gifting, gaming, exciting, like none other. And on top of all of that, they expect that you're gonna anticipate their needs even before they demand them. So with this unprecedented level of focus and heightened customer experience, honoring your customer above all else is something that a social business really needs to figure out how to do. How do they satisfy the new social client? Now let me just run through two examples. One, let's say that um, you've got this new uh, mom out there and she blogs. She does a recipe look out, look up. She's maybe planning a party for her child. She builds a menu and she tweets about it. Hey, here's the menu, I'm going to the store. A client service rep from your company tweets back and says, hey, this looks like a great recipe. If you get stuck, text us or tweet us as you're in the grocery store. Mom goes to the grocery store, starts selecting items from her mobile device. She wants to check to see if one is gluten free. So she again tweets about it and does a Facebook. Client server rep, rep tweets back and says, you know, that's not a great recipe, not a right ingredient for that recipe because it does have gluten in it. And a medical dietitian who knows that the mom is diabetic tweets back and says, here's a different substitute ingredient. Mom checks out, bakes the, the food, parties a success, tweets pictures of the meal to her favorite 3,000 followers and blogs about it. Savvy Rep again sees that recommendation online and asks this mom to join the Recipe Recommenders Club, go into a private chat, become connected in a relationship that's ongoing. One scenario. Second scenario, a new business owner. They want to find new software. So what do they do? They go to Google. They do a community search on this type of software. They look for recommendations on LinkedIn um, and they build a potential group of tippers of those experts on this particular software. She's seeking subject matter expertise, leveraging LinkedIn, recommendations, Twitter, clout. She finds Jack, someone who's been recommended more than anyone else by others in this type of software. She DMs him through Twitter. Jack, the great salesman now, sees this tweet as part of his sales process. He tweets back a set of questions and wants to build a relationship with this new business owner. Business owner goes to a trade show, and while she's there, she comes to a tweet up, and Jack notices through Foursquare, they both checked in, that they're both at the same conference on this software. So they set up an in-person meeting, she falls in love with the software, then she has Jack virtually demo through telepresence to the rest of her team that's back in California, wins a deal, she tweets about it, and it becomes history. Now, so what does this say to you? How many of you have engaged a company for service through a social channel? I bet all of you listening to this video. How many of you currently provide service or support for your customer through the same channel with the same level of expectation? Something to ponder and think about this new social client and how becoming a social business can help you meet this new client of the future.